Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. Today we'll be doing the detailed camera review of the latest device from Samsung, the Samsung Galaxy F55 5G. So Samsung Galaxy F55 5G was announced a couple of weeks back and this device comes in the price range of around 25,000 to 30,000 rupees and in this price segment let's see how good the camera experience is on this device. So in this video we will be looking at the camera aspect of the Samsung Galaxy F55 5G. So before going into the video if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's go straight into the camera hardware first and then we'll come back to the camera samples. So in terms of camera hardware, the device comes with a 50 megapixel primary sensor with f1.8 aperture and you get optical image stabilization. The secondary camera is 8 megapixel ultra wide angle shooter and you also get a 2 megapixel macro sensor. In terms of front camera, once again you get a 50 megapixel shooter with f2.4 aperture. So that's the camera hardware of the Samsung Galaxy F55 5G. So let's go straight into the camera samples to see how it performs. So looking at the daylight captures, you can see here there is good amount of details offered. The dynamic range is nice and wide. It could have been a tad better at times, but overall I would say uh, the dynamic range looks good. The colors are mostly done well, although at times it feels slightly muted and the color consistency is not that great. Some images are rich and wide, uh, vibrant, while some uh, do look uh, a bit washed out. But overall I would say it's quite satisfactory experience. It may not be the best uh, camera sample out there in this price segment. So that's the Samsung Galaxy. Galaxy A55 5G, the primary 50 megapixel shooter. Now, if you look at the ultra wide angle camera, there is no color consistency with uh, the primary camera and it's too contrasty and doesn't look that great. The 8 megapixel shooter is quite uh, average for an ultra wide angle camera. Now, moving on to the close up shots, once again, you can see here there is good amount of details. The colors are nice and white and also the sharpness levels looks good. Although at times uh, we feel the, there is a bit of over sharpening happening, but uh, quite good overall. Now there is 2 megapixel macro sensor which is pretty average, nothing much to boast about. So it's very average in terms of quality. Moving on to the portraits, once again uh, the skin tones are quite good actually. But overall uh, portrait quality doesn't look that great. Uh, the bokeh drop off uh, doesn't look that impressive, it's too harsh actually. And uh, the skin tones and colors looks okayish. But we feel uh, at this price again it, would have, it should have been better portraits uh, on the Samsung Galaxy A55 5G. Now moving on to the low light experience, here in indoor lights uh, with uh, uh, pretty good artificial light there is good amount of details on offer and the colors are also quite good but when light drops further it's always go, better to go with the night mode and here the experience is pretty much average you can see there is lot of noise and the sharpness levels are not that great so the low light experience even with the optical image stabilization doesn't look that good and the overall low light quality doesn't impress us especially uh, the noise and the clarity doesn't look that great. So that's the low light experience. Now moving on to the selfie camera, even though it has a 50 megapixel shooter, the quality was kind of disappointing actually. The skin tones and also the detail doesn't look good and even there is a, a greenish tint to some of the images and doesn't look that impressive. Even the edge detection in portrait selfies was kind of very much average. So selfie experience once again was pretty much average I would say. But do let us know what do you guys think about the selfie camera. Uh, do let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Now moving on to the video recording, it has 4K 30fps support. The video quality looks quite okay although there is a bit of uh, uh, focus sending issue but it's not very predominant but still uh, may not be the best uh, video recording out there. Uh, 4K 60 is not supported. There is also 1080p 30fps which looks quite okay but on the whole uh, camera performance uh, or rather the video recording performance was strictly average I would say. So that was the video quality from the uh, Samsung Galaxy F55 5G. So this is the front facing camera sample taken with the F55 in 4K 30fps resolution. So you can judge yourself how good the quality of the video is and also the audio output. So summing up, how good is the Samsung Galaxy F55 5G in terms of camera? 
So as a whole, I would say it's kind of very much average in terms of performance at a price range of around 25 to 30 thousand rupees. The camera fails to impress us in terms of the overall quality of it, and uh, the daylight shots came out good. Uh, the close-up images also came out pretty well. But other than that, uh, most of the images were kind of uh, average experience, especially the low light and selfies didn't uh, impress us much, uh, especially in terms of the overall quality. So if you're looking for a camera centric device, maybe the Samsung Galaxy F55 5G isn't the best option available. You might uh, have to look uh, at better options in this price segment. So what do you guys think about the camera on the Samsung Galaxy F55 5G? Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.